What's going on guys? Hope everything is going well. I want to do this one video about gold. I haven't done a gold video in a while. We've seen a lot of activity in gold and this kind of reminds me of 2011 where you had the problem of the debt ceiling and the price of gold continued to go higher and also you had geopolitical events occurring as well. If you look at what happened in Egypt and Libya and, and all of that craziness going on and the debt ceiling, like I said earlier, push gold prices higher. There was a lot of uncertainty in the economy as well. A lot of people thought there'd be hyperinflation, including myself. Uh, that obviously didn't happen. But fast forward to today, what, nine years later? almost nine years later, and we're starting to see gold almost retest the high. Gold right now is at 1860 on the COMEX, or CME, whatever you want to call it. And I'm looking at Avi Gilbert's article on it. Sentiment speaks, if you own gold, look out below. The reason why I like uh, looking at Avi is he has a good track record. And... What he's expecting, he's expecting a downside reaction from this region. That being said, even though he expects a pullback in gold, he is still bullish, at least for the next few years, from my understanding. And he thinks next year is going to be a hell of a year for gold and silver. And it kind of makes sense with the loss of confidence in the economy. I don't, I wouldn't be surprised to see high, much higher gold prices from here. Anyways, um, if you want to look at it from a different perspective, David Brady on Twitter, Global Pro Trader. And uh, let's read what he's saying. Dixie still playing out his forecast, but now all I see is headlines for the demise of the dollar. With gold and Dixie going in opposite directions since March, don't surprise to see a healthy bounce in the dollar in the next two months or so. And I agree. I mean, we need to see gold prices uh, take a breather from here. And from what all the pundits and experts are t saying, they expect the stock market to correct. Some have been saying it right now. What where very well may be the case is next month, and some people are saying, "Hey, it's because of the unemployment going away, the payments." Another reason is you know people pay their taxes this month, and that money is being evaporated from the economy. Throwing all of those things together, August looks like a great month for a pullback. And we're starting to see the stock market, you know, bonds keep on rallying. The VIX is slightly going up. I've noticed the VXST is going up right now. A lot of indicators that I look at, especially lumber, lumber prices are contracting while the stock market is going up. That is a signal for the stock market to correct and potentially gold as well. I've started to hedge some of my gold positions and the reason why I have is because I expect a pullback and gold has had a nice run all right and last thing I wanted to touch base at is I'm seeing these uh, headlines on CNBC.com I know it targets uh, whatever you know you're looking at but still why am I seeing these ads right now Micro Metals Futures. Thinking about trading gold and silver? Try Micro Metals Futures CME Group. So CME is advertising to me, hey, you should start trading the uh, one-tenth of what the actual gold contract is on the COMEX, which is a Micro Futures contract. So we're getting ads about buying gold. And when you start to see you know, ads like this, it may be telling you 
don't buy gold right now. I, I've learned this over time. When you see these type of ads, you know, it may be wise not to get into that position. Some people may take the contrary position. I'm just hedging my bets right now. I expect gold and silver to be higher in the next few years, for sure. But I've seen 2010, 2011, where all my gains just evaporated. And that won't happen again to me. That can't happen to me again. But that was in my 20s, though. But anyways, guys, uh, let me know what you think. Do you think it's time to hedge? Do you think it's time to hedge stocks? Um, what are you doing? All right, guys. Thanks. I'll talk to you later. Bye.